but I can't catch enough of them. And there's really good money in this. I fish a little. You do? Well, in that case, send them to me. Before you can even start reeling in the legendary fish in Red Dead Redemption 2, you're going to need to start the side quest. For that, we need to find a man who goes by the appropriate name of Jeremy Gill. He's one of the game's many strangers, and you can find him on the pier of Flatiron Lake. Just head south from the R in Heartlands on the map, and you should be able to find him with ease. The slightly tricky part is there are actually 14 Red Dead Redemption 2 legendary fish, not the 13 like on the map that you're given, with one special creature only available once you've beaten the game and caught the other 13 fish that Mr Gill tasks you with. You'll also need special lures to catch these beasts, so head to Largris just south of Blue Water Marsh and buy the special lake lure, special river lure and special swamp lure. Oh, and fish in the morning for more bites and use eagle eye to locate legendary fish if you're struggling to find them. Once you've caught one of the fish, you'll also want to get to the post office in ample time or face delivering a rotten creature to Mr Gill, which I'm sure he won't appreciate. Okay, here we go our guide to catching every single Red Dead Redemption 2 legendary fish. Warning, this guide contains spoilers for Red Dead Redemption 2, but we'll tell you when they're approaching so you can stop and come back if you haven't got to the epilogue. Legendary Sockeye Salmon For this glowing red specimen, stand on the west bank of Lake Isabella, use the special lake lure, and get yourself close enough to the water where there's no frozen ice to obstruct your line. Shit, that's you. All right. Legendary Smallmouth Bass. Head to the west bank of Awangela, adjacent to the Awangela Dam Road, and you should see a cluster of bubbles where you'll find this beast. Cast in your special lake lure and pull it ashore. Shit, that's you. All right. Legendary Perch. You'll need your special lake lure again, but this little nipper isn't too much trouble to catch. Most of the bubbles are in the center of the pool, meaning you're going to want to stand on one of the rocks in the water near the west bank of the Elysian Pool to tease it over. Oh, what is this abomination? Legendary Bullhead Catfish You'll need your special river lure for this one, and it's easily the most annoying fish to catch. The Bullhead Catfish resides across a whole body of water on the landlocked island that houses the penitentiary. Gotcha! I damn well gotcha! Shit! Legendary Lake Sturgeon this beast is not tough to catch, but the manner in which you have to go about it is incredibly precarious. The lake sturgeon is in the middle of a body of water, and the only means to fish for it is by standing on the edge of a railroad bridge. Whilst you can paddle out with a rowboat, it's much easier and quicker to do it this way. Just make sure you're out of range of any forthcoming trains that might knock you into the deep. Equip your special river lure, and when fishing, be careful not to let the fish pull the line under the bridge, or it will snap almost immediately. Legendary Long Nose Gar. This one can be found northwest of Saint Denis, and you'll need the special swamp lore. It's not really that big, but the main thing you have to watch out for here are the American alligators lurking around your ankles. Make sure you kill and skin any nearby beasts so you don't get a shock that ruins all your hard work. Shit! That's you! All right! Legendary Muskie. You'll find this near the lighthouse, south of the Van Horn trading post. You'll need the special river lure for this one, and it's quite difficult to catch, as it's in an annoying location on the outskirts of the lighthouse. We recommend scrambling across the rocks and getting to a solid position. To make matters worse, you have to stow this fish on your horse, which means you have to carry it back to land. 
The best way to get it back there is to whistle for your horse, get it as close as possible to you, or face losing the fish as you're ambling through the water on the way back. Gotcha! I damn well gotcha! Shit! You're a fine musky. Legendary Steelhead Trout. You'll find this fish in Willard's Rest, and it is gargantuan. The size of the challenge matches up to the size of the fish, and the riverbanks aren't that lucrative, so you're going to have to make your way to one of the islands in the stream. Unfortunately for us, after catching the steelhead, we ended up losing it in the water as we couldn't get our horse close enough. Luckily though, it floated downstream and ended up on the shore. You kidding me? Yes! <laughs> Legendary Chain Pickerel You'll find this in the Dakota River and you'll need a special river lure. The Legendary Chain Pickerel is easy to catch as it's so small. Luckily it's also found bubbling in one of the lowest points of the Dakota River, so get your boots wet and cast away. Legendary Bluegill. Using your special lake lure, you'll find this fish near Gill's Pier, just west of Rhodes. Again, you'll have to scramble down a hillside to get to where it dwells, but just make sure you cast where the bubbles are and you should have no trouble catching this little well nipper. Bluegill. Legendary Largemouth Bass. Way down by Rio del Lobo, this largemouth bass is easy to spot in the clear water amongst all the small fry. Get your feet wet in the shallows, cast your special lake lure, and get ready for a scrap. Shit! That's you! Alright! Legendary Redfin Pickerel. You'll need your special lake lure again for this one, and it's fairly tricky to catch, as it's not very big. Use eagle eye to find it in the water, and cast your line off the pier on the north side of the creek for the best chance of a bite. Legendary Rock Bass. You'll find this fish in the Aurora Basin. There's not much to say about it, as it's very easy to catch, as long as you cast your line close. There's even a handy pier to stand at at the basin that's not dilapidated like most of the others you'll come across. <laughs> You're the damn fish! Once you've caught and mailed all 13 legendary fish, you'll receive an invitation from Jeremy Gill, who invites you out for one final fishing trip before the quest concludes. So, a catfish in the desert, is that normal? No, not at all. That's why it's so fascinating. It's adapted to a new environment, turned a horrible pallid yellow color, and weighs close to 200 pounds by all accounts. What? You might not want to spoil the ending here, so if that's the case, stop watching now. But if you really want to see how this all concludes, we're about to show you. Eventually, Gil will hook something on the line, and you'll have to take a picture of him landing it. But that doesn't go too well. Here comes him off! Ah, ah. My God! Your reward is a special spinner lure, which increases the chance of catching any type of fish, but mostly large and legendary ones and you also get Gil's hat. In terms of the catfish, the current thinking is that it can't be caught. You can try by all means, but the mission will end once you pick up the special spinner.
So that's how to catch all 14 legendary fish in Red Dead Redemption 2. Let us know if you want any more tips in the comments below. Click the boxes on the left for more content from us. And don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game Trader Plus.